What up, y'all? <clears throat> got another video for y'all. Uh, got a lot, several things coming in left and right. Uh, I will say, some people must have had their fingers crossed or something for me on this last Supreme Drop because we done good, biggest cook I've done yet. Um, I should have one, two, three, four, five packages coming in. I know three of them's coming tomorrow. Today is Tuesday night. It's actually like 9.30 at night. And I swam back by the shop and uh, today was my day off. I stopped by today or tonight after the shop was closed. And um, first I picked up these packages just a little while ago. Stopped by here so I could give y'all another review. Tomorrow I got a pair of shoes I know of and like I said, a few packages. Tomorrow, I probably won't get to do a video, so it'll probably be Thursday I'll do a shoe review. And I'm still waiting on two more packages to be shipped out on the Supreme order. So I'm gonna try to wait till I get all five packages in before I do my Supreme unboxing. That way I can just do one big unboxing and give y'all just a big, you know, my biggest Supreme hit yet. Which I think it's like about 10 or or about 11 or 13 items so uh if you're not subscribed to the channel please drop a sub like comment all that good stuff and let's get this video started let me figure out which one i'm gonna open up first one of these i'm i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all is a shoe and one of them ain't uh let's see here should we do the shoe or not the shoe let's do the shoe first uh, it's really going to be the main thing for this video. Uh, right here, here's shoe box. This is another shoe palace order. For, so for everybody that says you can't hit on shoe palace, like I'm telling y'all, like some of the releases are uh, something on this note that I cannot read. They scribbled out. They put cancel, but this order wasn't canceled. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, you know, I don't always hit on the releases. I more or less hit on, like, restocks, stuff like that. Uh, the Jordan app, on uh, J23 app works great, uh, giving you a heads up on some of the stuff. But as y'all tell, we got another Jordan 1 mid box, uh, Jordan 1 mid slash Jordan 1 low box. Um, but this shoe right here is one that I think is going to do good. Um, my boss had hit on this shoe. I wasn't able to hit on this shoe. So finally I was able to hit on this shoe. And uh, that's where we're at right now. Alright, the box reads Air Jordan 1 Mid White Laser Blue and Black USD 115 Size 11 And set this up here. Grab the shoe. And blow. The laser blue Jordan 1 mids. Very dope, clean shoe. Um, I'm debating on keeping this one for the for the toe, not gonna lie. Uh, I really like this shoe. I think, I don't know, I'm gonna set this right here. Pull out the other one. They didn't give us any extra shoelaces. Jordan Brand, I wish y'all had gave us some of these like baby blue shoelaces. That has set these things off. Um, but here's the shoe. Um, as you can tell, most of the shoe is white leather. It actually feels like a pretty decent leather all the way through. I will say I do got one minor crease problem right here. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all right here on the inside. There's a little bit of a crease, but that's probably from factory. Um, and it looks like a little dirty spot. We'll wipe that off. But uh, there's the shoe. Um, I like this shoe. I saw, whenever I tried to hit it on the first time and I couldn't, um, I was a little bit depressed because <clears throat> I thought that this shoe was very, very clean. Um, and, and I think that this is going to be a, a Jordan 1 mid that does actually really good. Um, the insole is a little bit different than a normal Jordan 1 mids. Um, most of them's got kind of that black whatever where this is different. This is kind of textured on the inside. And so is underneath the tongue. And this is not a special edition, you know, a SE. 
Jordan 1 mid. This is just basic Jordan 1 mid. But I can see this one doing a little bit better than some of the other Jordan 1 mids that are out. Um, just because it's got the whole, you know, bright blue, almost that Carolina vibes, you know, kind of what it gives me. Um, so, I could, like I said, I could see a shoe doing good. I could see people doing a lot of custom work to this shoe. You know, somebody could take, like, that blue and come in and paint this section right here and around the toe box and maybe it's back heel. Whew, you want to talk about being mean. Jordan Brand, y'all need to hire me to help design some shoes because that right there would be fire. But this is all white shoe with the black check and the black trim up here at the top. And this is a really nice buttery leather up top. And so is the check. Like, like I said, all of this feels nice. Um, you know, it, it feels like a good smooth leather. So, you know, like I said, uh, I could see these doing, doing really good. Um, comment below. Let me know what y'all think about these. Would y'all cop, drop? Or, uh, I was going to give y'all another thing to say. What was it? Or flop. Would you cop them for the toe? Uh, or, no, wait a minute. Would you, uh, cop them? Uh, flip them. Means resale. Just buy them to resale. Or would you drop them? Which means you would not rock them at all. Uh, Comment below. Let me know what y'all do. Me personally, uh, I say cop them to rock on toes. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a dope shoe, which I haven't decided if I'm going to sell these yet or, you know, uh, or wear them. I, I did notice something kind of crazy. Normally on the Jordan 1 mids, like, the holes are completely punched through, but these ain't. I don't know if that's something that they just decided not to do on these, but check that out. Like, the holes are not punctured all the way through. Maybe it's, they, you know, this was released in the fall. So maybe this is more of a fall time Jordan 1 high, you know, even though it's white. But it ain't got the holes in there, so it might keep water and stuff from getting down in there. Kind of help waterproof it a little bit. This leather does feel a little bit different. Um, so maybe this is more of a fall time Jordan 1 high, you know. Um, maybe that's why the leather and everything feels a little bit different, like, I ain't got any of these other ones that kind of compare the feel of it to that's not wrapped up in plastic right now. But um yeah, like I said, it's uh I like the the, the white tongue with the the laser blue jump man and air symbol. I, I like how they did the, the wings right here and that laser blue, you know, all that. There's a couple of marks all on this shoe, like I will say they didn't take good care as far as making sure this pair was clean from the factory. But, you know, it happens. You got a couple little spots in them. I've had tons of them that, you know, just had little specks on them and needed to be wiped off. Um, but, yeah, like I said, nice shoe. Uh, I really see a shoe doing pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, other than having to wipe off everything off of them, but other than that, like like I said, I can see a shoe doing really good. Um, any, anything normally that's white with a little bit of color is going to hit hard. Um, you know, like I said, the whole shoe's white. The tongue is white. Lace is white. Black, nice black leather right here, right here, and here. You know, you wrap around the, everything midsole white. Just a real clean pair of shoes. And it being solid white like this is going to really add to the contrast with the the blue sole, the black check, the laser blue uh, wings, the black right up top. And then I like how they did this up here. You got the black, and then you know even that's not the other side shining through. That's they they raised this laser blue up top just to add a little bit of contrast to the top. Now, right here, not so much on that one, but uh, it might curl up a little bit as you wear it. But as you can tell, it's all the way around. Both shoes is like that. So that might be a way you can tell the difference between some knockoffs on these. Is If you look back here at the heel, in the same spot, they're both identical. So that might be something that they've done to help kind of chop up the counterfeits on these. Um, 
<clears throat> but either way, it's a nice shoe. Nice shoe. I, I give them that on this one. Uh, but uh, like I said, let me know in the comments below what, what would y'all do on these. Would you hit? Would you buy them for the toe? Would you just flat out not buy them? Or would you buy them to resell? Let me know in the comments. You know, or would you just call somebody up on them? You know, what what are we doing on these? Like I said, me personally, I'd rock them. <clears throat> All right. All right. Well, that's going to be about it on this shoe part. Like I said, I planned on just coming here, doing this shoe video. But this package right here, which is, I thought was the shoes at first, but it's not. So let's open up this package, see what all's in here. I think it's just one item that I've been waiting a very, very long time for. And uh, we're going to open it up and check it out. This is the last order to this order. I know it's one of my orders that was my biggest one kind of got screwed over by UPS. They still yet to pay me for that. I'm kind of heated about that. So, uh, wow. That big box have another small box in it it's kind of stupid but it is what it is before I pull this out y'all come on let's get some likes up some comments I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this completely or not because it looks like it's kind of sealed so if it's sealed I'm not gonna be able to pull this completely out of the packaging but uh Let's get these locks up because I'm fixing to pull something out pretty cool. We have the. It looks like they done messed it up. Or something. Anyways, we have the Cactus Jack Fortnite collab. Uh, Living Your Own World, Raging Ours, Fortnite figurines. Oh, it's paper slides. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Here we go, and girls. All right. Now, let's see how we can get in here. Oh, it's, now they done, I like this now. They done a good job on this packaging. This is dope. All right. You got the Cactus Jack in the kind of like Terminator style on here. You got this hologram here saying Cactus Jack. You got the Fortnite emblem right here. And then it allows you to pop this off. And on the back it says the same thing and then wow we got the action figures we got the t uh 3500 in sicko mode and i'm gonna try to get this in here a little bit pull this a little bit closer to give y'all more up and close view of these characters try to get some kind of it's gonna be hard not to get this glare on this y'all um Let me see if there's any way to open this without really screwing it up. If I can get this sticker up without tearing, then we'll open it up. But if not, then I don't want to really mess up the seal on it. able to do it y'all so let's open it up at least show y'all what the figurines look like without this uh, glare on them got some paper in here some kind of little warnings and all that and tells you about the sicko mode dude uh, all right, let's lift this up without this stuff popping out. All right, and there we go. This is little sicko mode dude. His head lights up. I did see uh, a picture of that. And, you know, I guess you could say I got my first Travis Scott ones in because, uh, you know, 
Your boys got on the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. Which is pretty dope. Um, you know, it's just Cactus Jack or Travis Scott in his, uh, uh, like, Terminator-style body skin that's on Fortnite. He's got a Cactus Jack chain on, tatted up, all his tattoos and everything, just like in the game. You know, you got the skin in the game if you was able to hit on it. Um, just the same thing, but in a figurine. I really like where they put the Jordan 1s on his feet. I think that is very cool. And then you got a... The Travis Scott scar that they done like they did release a nerf gun just like this but um I didn't end up ordering the nerf gun and then you got sicko modes pickaxe was pretty cool that you could get in the game uh figure out how it goes back in there and then this dude which I, I, I you know anybody that knows me knows I, I play Fortnite on Fortnite mobile but um and I, you know, I enjoy the game, but, uh, so if I can get him out of here without messing this up, all right, and bow, there's sicko mode, really cool, it looks like he's got on the, ju all right, now I'm gonna say this, he's got on what looks like to be the Travis Scott sixes, because he's got the little pouch on it and everything, but they're blue to match his outfit, so he's, he's rocking some custom, some customs, uh, Jordan 6 Travis Scott shoes as you can tell there's the pocket you know all that you know uh, got the little jump man logo on it you know that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool I dig that and uh, like I said his head lights up I don't know it's gonna give us a test mode of it sometimes these will allow you to uh, let's see if we can do this without messing anything up <laughs> I don't know if it's going to have to have batteries Oh, uh, you got to pull the tab to make it do it So we're not going to be able to do that Because I don't want to mess it up Because once you pull that tab, you cannot get it back I guess it don't have batteries in it or something Or you got to pull that tab out It's got some little mark back there So it might need, you might have to put batteries in him But, uh I, I do got to say, this has got to be some of the coolest little figurines that I've seen. If I'd had these whenever I was a kid, I'd have been going nuts, especially with the dude's head lighting up. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I, I'm probably going to be selling these. So uh, if anybody's interested, you know, swing by the shop. They'll be here at the shop. Uh, so, yeah. But, uh show y'all and give y'all another quick glance of them real quick here's the complete set really dope and i think these are going for like you know i've seen them bouncing anywhere from like 130 to like 200 dollars, and some going for like 300 i will say if you did buy this i would say sit on it till right before christmas and then sell it because there's going to be tons of these little kids that's, you know, not just Fortnite, you know, fanatics, but also they're all into the whole Travis Scott hot beast stuff. So I could see all those little kids getting something like this and open that up for Christmas and going nuts. You know what I'm saying? So uh, perfect time of the year to sell this this uh, figurine kit and uh, or set. So I will say, if you do have this, to save it till then before you decide to sell it and uh, make your money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I bought it for is to make some money off of it. That's what I'm going to do with it. Um, that's I, I really like the packaging that they did on all this. And uh, I think they did a really good job on that. Um, that's going to about wrap this video up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, like I said, third, or two days, I'm going to have y'all another shoe video. And then hopefully two days later, I'm going to have y'all Monster Supreme unboxing. And then hopefully after that, I'm going to have some more shoe videos just popping up here and there for y'all and some more Supreme releases. Um, 
But uh, that's going to about wrap this video up. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And let's, like I said, let's get these subs up. Let's get these likes up on these videos. And uh, let's, you know, get on to the next giveaway. Um, like I said, I got a few things coming in and, and a few plans on some stuff for some giveaways. So y'all help me get it, you know, everything going, and we'll, we'll do a good giveaway. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Much love and peace out.